Hello friends, myself Tomar. In this video series, I will discuss about GSF. Okay, what is GSF? GSF is a MVC framework which is used to create the user interface for web-based applications. Okay, now in uh, GSF, the GSF framework provides a number of UI components which can be reused to create the web-based application. Okay, as well as we can use those. UI components to create our custom components also. Okay. Let me move to the slide. See, this is the definition of JSF. As I told you, it is an MVC framework which is used to create the UI for the server side applications. It provides a set of reusable UI components. Right. Then, what are the JSF features? It provides a reusable UI component as I discussed. Allows the implementation of custom components. We can use the UI components provided by the JSF framework, or we can extend the uh, UI components provided by the JSF framework to create the custom components. Also, provides event-driven programming model. This means we can associate events with the UI components and can provide our functionalities. Manages the UI state across multiple requests. This means. The UI components provided by the JSF framework doesn't lose its information across multiple requests. It retains, it holds the information associated with the UI component for multiple client requests. Okay. Now, JSF component model. As I told you that JSF framework provides a number of UI components. Okay. Now, each and every UI component is associated with a tag handler. Right. Now, whenever the JSF page is executed, the the JSF framework uh, executes the tag handler associated with the UI component and it builds a component tree. Like you can see in this diagram, here we have three controls. One is a form, another one is the input, and uh, the third one is the command that is the button actually. Now, whenever the JSF page is executed, the JSF framework has created this tree form, then input, then command. Okay. Now, if you read this. A uh, UI component is an object with which the end users interact. Each JSF component is associated with tag handler. When the JSF framework reads the JSF page, means whenever the JSF framework executes the JSF page, then the tag handlers associated with the UI component executes to build a component tree. Okay. Now, the architecture, as I told you that the JSF is an MVC framework, means model view controller. Here, the Java Beam will act as a model gsp or facelets acts as a view now what is this facelets that i will discuss in my upcoming video and faces servlet will act as a controller and this controller will be responsible to get the request to validate the request to convert the user input uh, populate the model with the ui values and after that it will generate the response also now how these things will happen that i will show you programmatically in my upcoming video okay now gsf lives life cycle these are the JSF life cycles. If you see, restore view, apply request values, process validations, update model values, invoke applications, and render response. These are the life cycles for JSF framework. Okay. Now, what are these life cycles that I will discuss one by one? The first one is a restore view. This is the first phase of the JSF life cycle. What happens in this phase? The component tree, which I have discussed in my previous slides. In this particular phase, the component tree is created and it is stored inside the faces con context instance. Now, what is this faces context that I will show you programmatically okay, in my upcoming video. So, in this particular phase, the component tree is created and after that, it is stored in the faces context instance. Okay. Then we have apply request values. This is the second phase. Here, what will happen? Here. Uh, the components, the UI components in the component tree will retrieve their values from the request. Means whenever the client, whatever the request sends the client, okay, in, in this particular uh, phase, those requests will be retrieved, right? Then we have process validation phase. In this particular phase, this is the third phase in the JSF lifecycle. In this phase, all the converters and the validators associated with the UI controls will be executed. And if all the validation passes, then the remaining lifecycle stages will execute normally. Otherwise, an error message will be stored in the faces context and it will be displayed to the user. Okay. 
then we have update model values this is the fourth phase in this phase the models this means the java bean will be updated with the ui component values okay then we have invoke application in this phase the business logic associated will be executed when a, whenever a form is submitted right and then we have render response as the name is suggesting in this particular phase the output will be displayed to the browser this means the client can see the output right now i will discuss all these phases programmatically as we will proceed okay that's it if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you so much